Do you think God is only good when he is good to you? Well, today's liturgy has a lesson. God is above all good when he is bad to you, when he afflicts you. Salve Maria! The disciples today come back happy. 72 disciples, they come back happy because they've worked miracles, because they have worked exorcisms. And our, our Lord says to them, Do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The disciples were happy because they had a power that no one else has. It's the greatest power on earth, the power over the evil spirits. It's a power not only above material objects, but a power over the spiritual world. And our Lord says that that's nothing. On the contrary, He says that they need to rejoice because their names are written in heaven. And then He continues, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. God hides the most important things, His greatest mysteries, His greatest graces. He hides them from those who consider themselves great. And He reveals them, He gives them to those who are like children, those who are humble. That's why God is good to us when He afflicts us because our human pride is terrible. Our worst enemy is our pride. We think we are something great and God is so good, God is so good that He afflicts us, that He sends us trials, temptations, problems. He lets us suffer a series of difficulties. And why does he do that? So that we become humble, like little children. Our Lord continues, No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Jesus reveals his Father to those who are humble. He reveals his Father to us when we are humble. He visits us in trials. The psalm today is fantastic, Psalm 119. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. What? It's good that I was afflicted. Yes, it's good that I am afflicted, because I learn wisdom when I am afflicted. And in your faithfulness, you have afflicted me. God, when he afflicts us, is faithful to us. If God was not faithful to us, He just let us go on our own way. He let us stray along the paths of evil, the paths of our own misery, the paths that our own pride leads us to. But God is faithful and so He afflicts us. He sends us a problem. When we are attached to something, He takes it away from us. When we have our hearts set on something wrong, he corrects us. The psalm continues, I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. What a beautiful liturgy today. When you are afflicted, think of this. The greatest saints wouldn't have arrived at sanctity if they weren't afflicted. Saint Paul became Saint Paul because he fell from his horse, from his high horse. That's when he became St. Paul. St. Ignatius of Loyola became St. Ignatius when he was no longer the great and important commander of the army that he wanted to be. He was no longer that noble to whom all the ladies would look at. When he lost his leg, that's when he started to be St. Ignatius. If you lose a leg, if you lose a friend, if you lose a dear one, if you lose your job, if you lose your health, if you lose 
something that afflicts you, raise your head up and thank God for that. He's probably giving you the best cure you ever needed. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Today is the feast of St. Therese of the Child Jesus. She is one of the patronesses of the missions. There are just two patrons of the missions. St. Francis Xavier, who crossed the world, and St. Therese, who never left her convent. She always wanted to do something great for God. She wanted to be a crusader to defeat God's enemies. She wanted to be a preacher so that she would convert his friends. She wanted, she wanted, she wanted. But she above all realized that the most she could do to, for God was to let God do His will in her life. She could love God, love God, love God so much that she would let God crucify her. That's why she's the great Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. She let herself become little in the Child Jesus' hands. She's the great Saint Therese. Pray for me. I'll pray for you too, to understand this great lesson that God is good to us above all when He afflicts us. The Lord be with you and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.